It's the 2022 World Cup. It's Tunisia's players. Hello and welcome to the International Soccer Preview by Soccer Files Canada. I'm Kevin and today we'll be looking at Tunisia's squad for the 2022 World Cup. of the player by player uh, discussion and so we'll just uh, uh, talk about the team in general with a few notes on the players so uh, the new manager doesn't seem to have made a lot of changes although there are a few players he has brought in seems to be trying out a couple of players in the recent games too and a few he has not selected uh, most surprisingly I suppose would be Wabi Kazri who hasn't uh, played since the African Cup, and uh, central defender, uh, central defender, sorry, I just have to go back and find his name, uh, Yassin, uh, Yassin Maria, excuse me for that, uh, who, uh, yeah, seemed to be kind of a staple in central defence uh, and is now out. Uh, Dylan Braun also seems to have lost his starting position, so a lot of changes in central defence there. In terms of formation, they seemed unsettled about their formation at the beginning of the African Cup, but uh, uh, since seemed to have settled on a 4-3-3 formation which is uh, actually a little bit odd because they lack forwards, uh, but they usually have wingers or attacking midfielders uh, playing in that outside forward role of the 4-3-3. Uh, in terms of individual players, we were taken by surprise by uh, Ben Said uh, being nominated as the goalkeeper uh, for the 2000 uh, African Cup, 2021 African Cup. Uh, we didn't think it would be him because he had no caps, but he turned out to be the starter and seems the starter now. Uh, equally, we were surprised by uh, Aoife Bil uh, Bilal uh, coming into the squad, uh, a kind of an aging player coming in after an eight-year absence to replace Dylan Braun, who seemed a bit of a staple there. So uh, Aoife Bilal is 20, 32 years old, Braun is 27. And then again, the other big surprise, Wabi Kashi not appearing uh, in any of the games after the Cup. So uh, most of the starters are central midfielders by designation. So uh, most of them are playing slightly out of position. But in a 4-3-3, it's kind of a central left and a central right midfielder. So uh, not too much out of position. It's also kind of uh, midway between... A uh, defensive and attacking midfielder, but we've considered that position mostly defensive here. Uh, we could also say that the attacking midfielders uh, are are playing slightly out of position because they're being uh, uh, pressed into outside forward roles. Okay, and finally, uh, as a note, a lot of positions are not held down by a single player. We're going to do a review at the end. Here, but we'll, you will see that uh, a lot of positions are kind of being shared by a, a group of players rather than one player starting in that position all the time. Uh, but a few positions are being nailed down, so we will take a look at this. And uh, we will take a look at that. Uh, okay, next thing we're going to look at is the age and experience of the squad. So the average age is uh, 27 uh 27 years old which is uh uh which is not bad but uh slightly old i would say uh, just let me look uh, at the older players so farouk ben mustafa who was a starting goalkeeper but is no longer uh, maybe out of the picture is 33 years old uh, uh in short the goalkeepers are old which why is probably why they're bringing in younger keepers uh, Bilal Ifa is 32 and so is uh, left back uh, Ali Malul and uh, their main uh, two of their main strikers Wabi Kashri and Yusuf Msakmi 
are 31 years old. So quite a few players who are 30 or older and uh, not a lot of players uh, who are young. But midfielder uh, Ben Rodane is 22 uh, and Ben Slimani, who uh, is is a starter, is 21. And Hannibal Medgebury, the uh, Manchester United youth team player, just 19 years old there. Yeah, so uh, in short, uh, kind of slightly on the older side there. Average caps uh, is 31 caps, which is actually a little bit low. Uh, a little bit low, but their most capped player is Captain Usup and Sakni with 85. Uh, Ali Malul has 81. Uh, for Jani Sassi, 76. Wabi Kasri and Naeem Sliti are both in the 60s. And then beyond that, no player has more than 50 caps. Uh, no player has more than 50 caps. So, uh, yeah, that uh, I would say on average that's uh, uh, slightly lower. Again, they are bringing in the young goalkeepers, Debchi and Ali Jamal, who have yet to earn their first cap, but I've included them in the list of about uh, 30 players here that I selected to uh, to get these averages. All right, well, we'll finish here with uh, uh, players to watch or things to watch. Uh, on defense, I am watching to see whether uh, Aoife Bilal or Dylan Brom will be the uh, starting central defender right now. It looks like Bilal, but I'd kind of be surprised if that was the case for the cup. A little surprised. On the uh, on the uh, left wing, on a uh, left back, uh, Ali Malul and Ali Abdi seem to be arguing for the position, so I'm curious to see who's going to win that. And on the right back position, Mohamed Draga and uh, Matt Luthi uh, are arguing the position, but Draga seems to be winning that argument. Uh, in the midfield, the issue is uh, kind of nailing down a starting lineup among those many central midfielders, uh, among the many uh, mid central midfielders they have, who is going to play where, because it seems to be uh, not nailed down so far. So we look at the team uh, soon. And you'll see that. And then uh, in attack, uh, the players to watch uh, in terms of scoring goals. Uh, I have an, uh, uh, our uh, Safadine Jaziri, who's the forward. Wabi Kasri, who is uh, all over the pitch. Naeem Slitty, who is kind of uh, all over the pitch too. And Yusuf Mtakni, who tends to be on the left as an attacking forward. I have an interesting little uh, stat here for you. Uh, in terms of percentages, uh, what the percentages of goals are. Oh, hang on. Uh, oh, I lost that, or I didn't put it in the right place. Anyway, I can tell you that the uh, highest percentage is... Uh, uh, is uh, uh, Safadine Jaziri, who has 10 goals in 28 games. So he's their main scorer, although Wabi Kasri has uh, more goals. Wabi Kasri has 69 caps and uh, 24 goals. So uh, that's uh, uh, about 33%, which is still uh, good. Uh, Yusuf Mtakni gets uh, a lot of their goals, or some of their goals, he has 17 goals, and Slitty has 14 goals. So look out for those as the uh, probably the main scorers. And then a couple of new players uh, to look out for. Uh, Hannibal Medri, he was kind of exciting when he was on the pitch in uh, the African Cup there last January. And also uh, Adam Ben Larby uh, in, in central defense uh, may come into the squad or, you know, he he uh, was definitely tried out in the squad uh, there. Okay, and uh, so we're going to finish here with a, a prediction of the starters for the African Cup. 
and uh, just let me copy on the YouTube uh, visual here. So we have a new manager uh, in uh, Jalal Kadri. So he'll be leading the team uh, through the cup. Uh, for goalkeepers, uh, Bachir Ben Said was a surprise starter for the 2021 African Cup, but definitely seems to be in the position. And the only one we can say uh, with confidence is going to reach the team uh, is Eamon Darman. So uh, veteran goalkeepers Farouk Ben Mustafa, who actually got a red card on the bench uh, in, the, in the African Cup. He didn't play any games, but managed to get a red card uh, while he was on the bench. He seems to be out of the picture. Uh, so is Muez Hassan. So a kind of a, 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 a replacement of older keepers with younger keepers there. We still consider Ben Mustafa uh, a possibility, though. And there are another couple of possibilities in Jamal and in Debchi. In central defense, we think Montasar Talbi and uh, Bilal Ifa are definites. Although throughout the course of this podcast, I've come to think that maybe Dylan Braun will be brought back in because Bilal Efer is 32 years old, which is not that old, but uh, uh, he returned after an eight-year absence, uh, uh, surprisingly. Uh, a new uh, newer player uh, is Nader Gandry, and maybe I should have put him in the uh, in the new players. Uh, section a bit earlier and uh, again a lot of possibilities in self-defense uh, in central defense uh, Dylan Braun, Omar Rakek, Adam Ben Lameen uh, and uh, a veteran Yasin Mariah uh, is injured so also a possibility of returning uh, there in the left back position it is not nailed down it seems like ali abdi is kind of winning the race over ali malul who has been in the position for quite some time but uh, both of them should be on the squad although it's hard to say who would be the starter a uh, possible candidate usama haddadi uh, is is also uh, in the mix but definitely the third horse running there. The right back position, however, is more nailed down. Mohamed Draga uh, seems to have won the position over Hamza Mafluthi, but we expect both of them uh, to be in the African Cup. Uh, veteran Wajdi Keshrida, we think, is now off the squad. In terms of midfielders, uh, there's a big clump of central midfielders and actually designated defensive midfielder for Johnny Sassi is kind of among among that group who uh, just kind of plays somewhere in the midfield. So we consider for Johnny Sassi a likely candidate. Uh, and among the central midfielders, we consider the young players, uh, Anis Ben Slamini and uh, Aisa Leiduni, uh, as definite candidates and uh, as a likely candidate Mohammed Ali Bel Romdain uh, I'm a little less certain about Elias Skiri uh, and Galeen Chalali but I'll bet you one of the two will probably be uh, on the roster uh, on the left wing uh, left wingers actually left midfielders but i talked about them as left kind of attacking midfielders here and uh, naeem sleety and yusuf Sakni are both definite candidates although uh, naeem sleety uh, uh may be playing out of position and uh among the right wingers uh ben larby um uh, uh, uh may make the team but he's firas ben larby uh, is just a possible candidate uh, right now, as is uh, the, uh, Elias Akuri, uh, possible candidates, but no kind of nailed down right winger. Rather, it's an attacking midfielder who plays as the right forward uh, position usually. So uh, that could be Naeem Sleety moving over or um, one of the attacking midfielders, uh, Wabi Kazri perhaps, or Hannibal Medjbri. So 
we have Wabi Kasbri. Really, uh, we have him as a likely because he hasn't played any of the games since the African Cup, but uh, it's hard to imagine that they wouldn't select him. Hannibal Medjbri is a young player uh, who uh, seems to be making his way into the team, and I think he will be on the squad. Uh, among the forwards, uh, secondary striker Isa, Isam Jibali uh, is a likely candidate, but would only be a substitute probably if he's on the squad. But Safadine Jaziri uh, is one of their few actual forwards, and we consider him definite. And uh, Tahayas Inkanisi, uh, a likely candidate, but would be uh, kind of a substitute. And then a couple of, uh, yeah, not a lot to select from, I should have said in my notes there, uh, uh, among the forwards. Okay, that brings us to the end of this podcast. So we hope you enjoyed this look at uh, Tunisian players. And uh, we hope you join you. We hope you join for our next uh uh, podcast. So keep in mind, uh, we'll be doing an update as new information comes out. That'll probably be in early November uh, once uh, they start publishing squad lists. Meanwhile, keep an eye on us at Soccer Files Canada. That is Soccer Files with a PH in the middle and an S at the end. And our website is soccerfiles.captivate.fm. And uh, we also have show notes to give you links to uh, uh, help you find any one of our nine previous series, uh, which includes uh, actually a look at Tunisian players uh, before the African Cup in January 2022. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye. See you again. <laughs>